Venom, how's it going? Today we're taking a look at the hit webcomic series turned super manga called One Punch Man. And we're going to see if this little manga that could is worth your hard earned cash. So let's dive into it. One Punch Man is an interesting manga simply because it started as a webcomic originally by an author with the pseudonym of One. And if you've ever seen the original art of One Punch Man, it is not pretty. Eventually the webcomic was so popular that the author was contacted by Yasuke Murata who decided to digitally redraw the comic for his manga website. It wasn't until the series made its debut on Comixology that it really took off for the United States audience. At its heart, the series is basically a satirical take on mangas and animes that have characters that they do 100 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, and they train for one or two episodes and they're able to beat the bad guys involving this special technique or this special move that nobody's ever heard of. While it's something that could get really old really fast, I actually have to applaud the author in this. It's actually a technique that, in a lot of cases in this book, it's genuinely really hilarious. Saitama gets put in these types of situations where he has to defeat these guys and he does it effortlessly and each time it's genuinely really funny. I think the biggest complaint that I have of the first volume of One Punch Man is that it's very light on plot. Uh, basically what it is is that a bad guy shows up, Saitama fights him, and he kills him in one punch. Rinse and repeat. Now I have heard as the series goes on it does get better, but today we're just focusing on volume 1 so that is a complaint that I had to point out. Saitama isn't the only character that's introduced in this volume, along the way we're introduced to the character of Genos. Genos is a cyborg and he kind of fits the more traditional hero role because he's on a quest for redemption. He's definitely the character that you end up kind of rooting for a little bit more since Saitama kind of has it really easy. The art here is done by Yusuke Murata and I gotta say the guy crushes it. The panels in here look absolutely gorgeous. The fight scenes in here look absolutely fantastic. Yes, they are really short because Saitama is able to kill his opponent in one punch, but nonetheless, a lot of them are stunning. Perhaps my favorite fight in here involves Genos versus this really creepy mosquito lady. I gotta be completely honest, I've never seen a villain that's like that, and she was genuinely really creepy, especially how her powers worked. I have to be completely honest, while the story left something to be desired, the art and the fact that I had fun all the way through definitely hooked me. I rate my books on a Pass Borrow by Perfectio, and I'm gonna give this one a borrow. It's definitely not for everybody, especially if you're somebody that's looking for more deep philosophical introspective manga, but if you're looking for something that is definitely just a fun ride all the way through that you can get lost in for like an hour and you can enjoy while shutting off your brain, this is definitely the way to go. If this is your first time checking out my channel, I do weekly reviews of hardcovers, trade paperbacks, special editions, anime, manga, all that good stuff. Check out some of my other videos. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. That's going to be found in the description below. And if you want to help support this channel and keep this channel alive, Patreon is always an option and it's found right down there. Thank you guys and let me know what you think of One Punch Man in the comment section below. Love you.